Well, it's December. Uh, I'm going to dare to say it. Hopefully, maybe one of the first ones to say to you, Merry Christmas. Uh, we're entering into the Christmas season. Uh, moved past Thanksgiving. Hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and getting ready for Christmas. And, and as followers of Jesus, we know Christmas is year round. We celebrate that Jesus came and he never left. He, he died on the cross, he rose again, he ascended to heaven, but his spirit lives in us and with us. And so I am just praying that you have an amazing December, a great Christmas season. And I'm gonna share uh, n- number nine in our top 10 passages, uh, my top 10 passages. And this is found in the book of James, chapter one, verses 22 to 25. And it's really about how we, how we view this book and how we respond to it. So listen to these words from James chapter 1, beginning in verse 22. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. I love those words. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror And after looking at himself, goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they've heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. And and, and we've all, if you've been around the church any length of time, we've all heard things like, well, be a doer of the word, you know, follow what the Bible says. But, but this passage sort of unpacks what that's really about. And it's really emphasizing the reality that knowing what the Bible says and living what the Bible says are two different things. The Pharisees in Jesus' day, they knew the Old Testament law. They knew the Old Testament better than almost anybody. Not better than Jesus, but better than almost anybody. But it wasn't in their hearts. It wasn't transforming their lives. And so just a couple of thoughts and insights. Uh, first is this, number one, that our belief and our action as Christians need to be bound together. The Bible is so clear that if we truly believe something, we're going to live it out. At Shoreline, we're, we're you know, at the end of a 12-week series, a quarter of the year on the book of Romans, talking about orthodoxy and orthopraxy. What I believe changes how I will live. Well, that's what James is saying. That if you truly believe, if you know what the Word of God says, live it out. Second thing, he, he's saying, remember When you open this book and read it, remember what God said to your heart. When you hear a sermon and the Holy Spirit convicts you, remember what God said. Every time God speaks to you through his word, remember it enough to live it out. And he uses the illustration, somebody looks in a mirror and that that concept is they look in the mirror and they see something's wrong. Something's messed up. There's a, there's a, a piece of broccoli stuck in their teeth or their, or their, their hair is all disheveled or, and they go, oh, I, I ought to fix that. I ought to do something about that. And then they walk away and they forget and they go along all day long and maybe all week long, maybe their whole life long, having seen it but ignoring it. What James is saying is, don't be that person who, who hears from God about something that needs to change, something you need to submit to him, something that needs to be surrendered to his will, and just forget what God taught you, but do what the word of God says. You struggle with gossip, and you read a passage that talks about the sin and the danger of gossip. And so God's shown you, he's put a mirror to your face, you've seen it. This is a problem in my life. And then you go on and forget about it. He says, don't do that. Remember what you've learned and live it out so you become a doer of the word. And then at the end of the passage, uh, there, there's this incredible picture of goodness and blessing. Listen to the end of the passage. And this is the part that doesn't get read very often. We hear the do what the word says, don't forget what it says, but listen to the finish. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law, who looks into the Bible, that gives freedom. God's word when we follow it doesn't bind us. It creates freedom. People think by following God's word, they won't be free to do whatever they want. Well, in a sense, you're not free to, free to do whatever you want. And actually, in life, we're not, I, I can't fly without a plane. There, I, I'm not free to do whatever I want. Uh, but, but spiritually, I don't find freedom in doing whatever I want. I find freedom in living the way God's designed me to live. And so there's freedom. But then he goes on, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. You will be blessed in what you do and how you live out God's word. If you want freedom and blessing in your life, get to know this book, but don't just get to know it. Live out what it says. God, that's our prayer today. As we walk into the rest of this week, this this first week of December, this beginning of a new month, this finishing of 2020 uh, and, and moving into a new year, we pray that we would know your word, study it closely, but then we would do what it says. And in doing that, we will find freedom and blessing beyond description. We pray this for your glory, Jesus. Amen. Well, this Sunday we have services at 9 and 11. Be sure you go online and register if you want to come in the courtyard or in your car. 
If you're online, just we'll see you then. And then also tonight is night of worship, 615 in the courtyard. It's gonna be an incredible launch into the Christmas season. So as you're getting this, maybe you've never, maybe you've never come to an outdoor service. Bundle up, be at Shoreline at 615 and worship with us. If you can't be here, be online and be prepared to celebrate Jesus and get ramped up for the Christmas season. God bless you. Have a great week and we hope to see you tonight.